Damien Kemp reporting for IHS Janes at DSEI. I'm speaking to Porik from Reemda, an Irish company that's displaying at the show. What they've got on the stand here is the Reacher UGV which is being provided to the Irish Army. There's two interesting things on this on this uh, platform here, uh, Porik. The first one is probably the Ackerman steering and the skid steering which yes. you've got on both and the remotely deployable marsupial UGV you've got in there. Can you talk about the advantage of the steering system first please? On a machine this size, um, generally with six wheel machines, you know, you usually imply a method called skid steer, like a bulldozer, where you, you drive forward in one direction and reverse in the other to turn the machine. Now that's, that's fine, but if you're for long deployments, the range of the radio system in this is one kilometer non-line of sight, and it can go up to three miles line of sight, so uh, for long drives like that, you need to conserve your batteries. Uh, a lot of people have gone into the using large lithium-ion packs. We still use uh, lead acid. Uh, the reason we can do that is that once the machine speed goes above two kilometers an hour, it switches from skid steer to Ackerman steering by the back axle. I can show you that. Okay, show us that. Just give the power because it will resist. So basically, the back, the back wheels will turn and it will assist the machine steer. So at full speed, this machine weighs 385 kilograms. At full speed, we're only drawing 25 amps. Which that's is an, very, very an exceptional number, isn't it? It's that's very, great. very low. And that's at 8 kilometers an hour. Now, to turn the machine with skid steer, you, you can drop to 100 amps. Right. And more, depending on the terrain. Yep. But with the, with the rear wheel steering, just like your car. Yep. Apart, except you're doing it in the back. Bring it stuff. <laughs> can you talk to us now about the uh, remote deployable UGV you've got in there? Yes, this machine is uh, it's called the RDP. It's a remote disruptor platform. It's designed for undercar use. Uh, big problem with, with using large machines and cars is cars are very low to the ground. So getting in, getting in, in under the car with a weapon can be very challenging. And let alone getting a good shot. So the Irish Army came to us, the Irish Defence Forces came to us to requirements. It says, we need something that can go under cars. Now, the problem with having such a small machine it's when you're that low to the ground, in this case four inches, your radio range is limited. Your, the power of your radio is limited. And the, the, the particular disruptor you can hold is limited. Yeah. Because it, so we had three challenges. We needed a machine that could fire a large weapon. This weapon is, made, is uh, called a pig stick. It's made by AB Precision. So that was the first challenge, was to make the thing able to resist, able to resist the, the recoil from the weapon. Because sometimes it can get jammed. Uh, so we designed a, a disposable bracket. Right that if the weapon gets jammed, it'll break the bracket, but it won't damage the machine. Yep, yep. Also, the lift arm is clutched yep. so that it can, it, can, it can click back. And the, 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 the large machine acts as a relay to this smaller platform, doesn't it? Back to the control station. It relays so it gives the communications you back, to the, back to the control station, so you don't have the, the range limit. So the small machine can operate yep. up to 100, 100 feet away from the, yep. from the large machine. I'll just take it out to give you a look. It literally drives into the car. It has four yep. cameras. You've got, you've, got, you've got the one on top there with the LED light as well, yeah? The top, the back, and a weapon camera that right. clips onto the front. So you get your best shot. 